Africa just sent a message the world didn't see coming, and it came from the southern edge of the continent, quietly, confidently, and without waiting for anyone's approval. While global powers warn Africa about energy insecurity, South Africa's Coburg nuclear power station just secured a 20-year life extension, guaranteeing clean, stable electricity all the way to 2045. No big headlines. No aplos. Just Africans proving they can run some of the most advanced technology on Earth with precision the world never believed possible. This is bigger than South Africa. This is a continental reset. Because two decades ago, analysts insisted Africa wasn't ready for nuclear power. They doubted the engineering. They doubted the regulation. They doubted Africans. But as those same experts sit comfortably writing reports, Africa just passed one of the toughest nuclear safety evaluations in the world. Not once, but twice, as both Coburg units now hold long-term licenses. And here's where the story explodes. This extension locks in 1,860 megawatts of round-the-clock power, the kind of electricity that keeps factories alive at midnight, keeps hospitals running during storms, and keeps nations from collapsing into blackout chaos. Solar depends on sunlight. Wind depends on the weather. Hydro depends on rainfall. Nuclear depends on discipline. And Africa proved it has plenty. But the real shock. Coburg's success destroys one of the oldest myths ever spoken about this continent. That Africa can't manage high-risk, high-precision technology. Today, African engineers are running a nuclear facility that some developed nations still struggle to match. And now Egypt, Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, and Uganda are lining up behind the nuclear path South Africa paved. Because Coburg isn't just a power station. It's a message, a declaration, a warning to the world that Africa will not be boxed into small dreams or temporary solutions. This is the beginning of a continental shift, an Africa that builds, powers, and directs its own future. An Africa where ambition replaces dependency. An Africa that refuses to ask for permission ever again. If one African nation can run nuclear flawlessly, what happens when ten more master it? The world isn't ready for that answer. But Africa is rising for future.